there seems to be an over excessive amount of wealth flaunting right now going on at the White House. Um, and, and not just in the White House, but also what we saw with the um, Super Bowl, if you remember this this time. And, you know, I'm thinking of all this fashion that's uh, that's being displayed by Flotus and, and Ivanka and, you know, while they're in India. And what's really interesting is that India has a lot of um, issues going on right now, especially in, from what I understand, in Kashmir where there are actually um, genocide happening. And yet we have the representation of the United States of America as being this over excessive wealth type flaunting. So, something you would expect to see with a, a reality TV show. One of those rich ones where they are very arrogant and bratty and flaunt their wealth on that. Um, I, I can't imagine it's going to be something that's gonna go over very well. Um, I can't imagine something that would be going over very well with anybody in a nation or even here in the United States especially since most of our U.S. Treasury is paying for those expensive clothing since they're funneling money directly from the U.S. Treasury into Trump resorts. Um, you know, I look at it, I, I'm an Ampero engineer. And so to me, it's just a bunch of filaments. It's just a bunch of fibers. It's twisted together, turn it into two-dimensional, turn it into three-dimensional. You know, it's, it's what it is. But for some people, it's become such a status thing, this idea of fashion and fashion designers and, and all this other crap. But I do find it interesting that the um, investigative agencies are taking a particular interest in the fashion world, particularly the, um, the G3 Apparel LTD force, or I'm sorry, the, that, that just distracted me, the, the G3 Apparel LTD, which is a very interesting um, fashion conglomerate that has a lot of interesting activity going on right now. I have a lot of questions about it. I'm looking at the stock markets of it. And there are a lot of pension funds, it looks like, um, US pension funds. Um, there's a teacher retirement fund that's one of the notable shareholders in, I think that one's in, um, that might be in Kentucky. There's Florida that also has a retirement fund in that. Virginia has a retirement fund as that. And um, one other one, another state. and which is very interesting. I don't know why there's a, a retirement fund as a notable shareholder in a fashion conglomerate. And, you know, the focus on all this fashion that's going on in, in the White House and the knowledge that that is the company that Ivanka used whenever she got her trademarks and her patent for a voting machine in China. So there's that, that link there. There's already that Trump link there that is very interesting. So I don't know. You look at history and you look at the time periods of, um, you know, after after Shakespeare had exposed all the the fraud, basically of, of royalty, straight to the um, the peasants and the commoners, and there started to be this this string of revolutions that started to break out. We look at um, France, where we had um, who was it Louis? What is it Louis the Tenth, or I think it was Louis the Tenth, and um, his daughter Marie Antoinette, and where they were telling the peasants, you know, oh, let them eat cake, and they were they were falling apart, and you know they were they were struggling, and people were dying. And yet the royalty had flaunted their wealth and it just never went over well. In those kind of situations when people are struggling and people are desperate and people are wondering where their next paycheck's gonna come from, where their next meal is gonna come from, whether they're gonna be able to keep a house over their head. And you see that kind of wealth flaunting, it usually never turns out well. They would just be wise to kind of tone that down, especially whenever they're representing the United States. It would be better to just have a, a not so flamboyant wealth flaunting in these areas that have gone through a lot of things, um, especially India. I mean, India is starting to see a little bit more economic growth because it also, along with China, is investing in green technology. Um, they're starting to also invest in their workers and starting to do things that USA should be doing, but we're not. We've, we've decided to go third third world country route, which is why our, for our uh, wannabe royalty president and his family is acting like, well, Marie Antoinette and King Louis. So that's it. <laughs> that's all that I'm going to say on that. But um, yeah, it's just, it, from looking at history, people who flaunt their wealth in those kind of areas where there is a lot of, um, in, in those situations where it's just across the world, there's a lot of corruption and a lot of people who are struggling and a lot of people who are not seeing any benefit of whatever they are producing. Um, it just never turns out well. <laughs>